Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a flip through of this library based curriculum journal from Fun Schooling Journals. So you want to make sure to check out my videos on Friday for the next couple of weeks if you're interested in fun schooling and what journals that we use because I'm going to be sharing some day in the life of our fun schooling Fridays and I'm going to be sharing some flip throughs of all of our journals. So let's get started with this journal. This is the Homeschooling Boys Library Based Curriculum Journal. It is considered a core journal. So if you're new to fun schooling and you haven't checked out Sarah Denise Brown's YouTube channel, definitely check it out and check out their website. I'll list both of them below and they can give you a beginner's um, tutorial on how to start using these journals. Of course, you can adapt them and use them any way you want to in your family. I just want to show you a flip through of this journal. I'll have it linked below. We purchased it from Amazon, so you can go and check it out if you want to. So some of these pages will be written on, but I did want to show you what the inside looked like because it's very helpful when you're looking to pick out a journal to know what's inside of it. So let's get started. So just like in all of their journals, you're going to have an instructions page where your kids list things that they're interested in learning about. You're going to have your action steps and what supplies that you you'll need for this journal and this is where you choose your books and you can color the title page you can um, not the title page the cover of the book you could just write the name of the book whatever you want to do because we just use them one day a week our books change weekly so we don't necessarily write them down like this now, I'm not going to show you the pages that my sons are on. I want to get you to some of the blank pages, but let me show you that they all look the same. Um, it does repeat. So I want to get you to something new here so you don't see his um, work. So, yes, it's going to be in a pattern. You're going to no notice a pattern and notice how they are the same, but it's really good because the kids get familiar with it and they're very relaxed and using it because it's something they're familiar with. So you do have the circle today's date. You can write down an inspirational quote. They can write down their goals and their to-do list. You'll have a travel dreams page. Now this is gonna change. You're not gonna see this in every set, but this is one that will come up quite often. You have a creative writing page where you look at the picture and write a story. Emotions and moods. How are you feeling today? Color the facial expressions to match today's mood. And then I like this at the bottom because it says, can you think of three things that might help your mood improve? Nature study and then reading time. So you choose four books, you read each book and they can draw a picture, they can copy a sentence from the book. It's really up to them. And then you're on to the next day. So let's look at how it differs a little bit. So with this one, you have spelling time. They're gonna find 20 words with seven letters each. So they're gonna look in those books that they picked and they're gonna write those words. And what I love about this is it's gonna give them content, um, like content specific words. So things that they're interested in, they're gonna learn how to spell those words. So that's what I really like about that. Film study, math practice, copy work, and then sketch a picture. And as you can see, we're, it's a pattern. Travel dreams, creative writing, emotions and moods, nature study, reading time, circle the date. Spelling time, this time you're looking for eight letter words. Film study, math practice, and then listening time. Listen to an audiobook or classical music and ask someone to read a story to you or ask someone to read a story to you while you color and draw on the next page. What are you listening to? So that's why this page is blank. And then sketch a picture. And then you're back to the date again. So a quote, goals, to-do list, travel dreams, motions and moods, nature study, reading time, and then you have a draw a meal plan. So I always let my son just come up with like, what would be the perfect day? If you could eat what you wanted to all day long, what would you choose? So this is what it looks like throughout the whole book. I'm gonna flip through just a little bit more so that you can see. But this is what the whole book is going to look like. And I know you're gonna be like, well, that seems really, really boring. But honestly, it's not because the topics that you're studying, that's gonna change. Like with us, it changes every Friday, depending on what he's interested in. So this is gonna change. The content is gonna change. Where the pages are the same, 
the content and what they're studying is going to change. And so that's what keeps it fresh and fun for us is that we're always changing out our books and what we're learning about. And on these pages, like these pages for math practice, they can design something, they can make maps or graphs, they could use it as their scratch paper to go with their math work that they already do. It's really up to you. Here's some fun writing practice to practice different fonts. And there are coloring pages because coloring is a great way to let your mind rest and process what you've been learning. So definitely don't skip out on the coloring pages if you can. I actually enjoy these pages myself. We'll flip through one more day here. So that is the library-based curriculum journal for homeschooling boys. It's a 60-day plan, but of course it's going to last us longer because we just use it on Fridays. So if you're interested, there is a link below in Am to Amazon where you can go and check it out. Um, share with me if you do any fun schooling. I would love to meet other fun schooling families. If you have any questions about fun schooling, I would be glad to answer them as much as I can. Like I said, we just do this on Fridays, so, and we're new to it, so we don't know a ton about it, but I do like to talk about it. Hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more, and as always, thank you so much for watching.